NTT Communication Science Laboratories aims for signal-free mobility, enabling safe and efficient driving for coordinated autonomous vehicles, even without traffic signals. Signal-free mobility is a decentralized mobility coordination technology to minimize transportation time by increasing average vehicle speed while preventing collisions via vehicle communication. It will be achieved by alternating repeated updates of local states, including speed and communication between vehicles to prevent collisions. We can represent these dynamics to coordinate overall vehicle states via communication between vehicles using an ordinary differential equation. This ODE formulation features special dynamics, which coordinate speed states to keep a certain distance between vehicles via communication between them. Through this ODE's discretization, we succeeded in forming a fully distributed neural network in which local state updates and asynchronous communication between closely positioned vehicles are repeated alternately. In this neural network, a trainable parameter associated with vehicle control dynamics theta is included. This theta is learned in order to bring vehicle speeds up to their target while preventing collisions. Since our special neural network consists of completely distributed operations, real-time vehicle control will be possible even when the number of vehicles increases. We conducted a simulation experiment using 30 virtual vehicles. As input information for each vehicle, we used bird's eye view image sets of the surrounding environment, such as the road layouts and the positions of closely positioned vehicles. Vehicle control dynamics are learned so that the vehicles can accelerate to the target speed without collisions. Note that we assumed that all vehicles have the same dynamics model, although input information for each vehicle is different. To avoid overfitting to an identified road layout, we performed traffic simulations using 10 road layouts. By using the observation datasets from those simulations, we tried to obtain a generalized driving dynamics model. Each vehicle alternately updates its status and communicates with nearby vehicles every 0.1 seconds. One round is defined as a set of forward propagation, in which these operations are repeated for 30 seconds, and backward propagation, in which a model error is calculated using the 30-second data set. 300 training rounds are executed to efficiently learn the model. We compared average vehicle speed before and after learning using animations of vehicle coordination. The normalized average speed before learning was 0.71. With this as the initial value, the model was learned so that the average speed approached a target speed of 1.0. After learning, the average speed was around 0.9, a speed increase of about 25%. Let's zoom in and compare the average speed before and after learning. You can see that the average speed is increased through our learning. Since our special dynamics are designed to keep a certain distance between vehicles, the vehicles did not collide even during learning.
Furthermore, to verify whether the simulation results reflect a real driving situation, we are conducting experiments using actual small vehicles. These actual vehicles can run autonomously since they are equipped with a Wi-Fi communication module, a compact GPU, and a set of motors. This is a scene from the experiment. In this experiment, each vehicle performs speed state update calculations and maintains communication with closely positioned vehicles to prevent collisions. We are now continuing experiments using actual vehicles to make further improvements of our signal-free mobility. Our signal-free mobility will attain a high level of sophistication with ION's ultra-high-speed communication.